Hi, I'm Jason Wallace of Quasimodo. Uh, what we have here is a RGV 250 chassis uh, Banshee powered custom sport bike. Uh, the chassis is a RGV 250K. The swing arm is a late, later, later model banana swing arm uh, so that it would clear the pipes. Uh, front end is off of a early 90s G601000 with a custom silicon carbide front disc, which is about half the weight of the normal, plus extra stopping power, more friction. Um, the motor is a, originally started as a fairly standard Banshee motor and was ported to uh, TZ350 specs. Uh, I've seen the inside of this motor, it's beautiful. Uh, a fellow named uh, Rick Gervasier ported this, who's well known also up in the Northwest uh, for doing porting. Um, I took the motor apart and made it more streetable, uh, cleaned it up. Uh, the crank is welded crank pins for longevity. Uh, the um, squish was set up more like a banshee, but I got custom head gaskets to loosen it up to make it super reliable. So not only is it fresh and less than 100 miles, but it's also got the squish closer to a road bike, so it's going to last quite a while. Um, it uses 26 mil adjustable carbs, which were standard for a Banshee. Uh, I had to change the jetting to get it on dead nuts. Uh, the pipes are modified Banshee uh, exhaust as well. Uh, ben had gone with the aluminum silencers because they are better for longevity. They don't fade. They're still light. Um, so uh, talking about the performance of the machine, uh, I've ridden and owned multiple RZ350s, which are a power valve version, but not quite as uh, severe porting as this. Uh, the porting for top end is really great, but by using the long chambers and smaller carbs, uh, it keeps it super streetable. I was actually, when writing it, thinking about it, thinking that it was going to have more low end power than, it, than, the, than the mid that it had, and it pulls more like a... I would say power-wise, it pulls like a like a Kawasaki 640, uh, a much later model bike, of course. Um, the turn-in is really good on it. Uh, it feels like it's sprung for somebody right in the 200-pound range. Um, brakes are phenomenal. Um, probably the only thing it needs at this point is fresh tires. Um, other than that, um, it's a great, great riding bike. Uh, it is premix. Uh, so you need to mix your own fuel, carry, carry a bottle. There's a custom R1 tail section, which has a very large uh, storage in it. So carrying oil is not a big deal. Um, that pretty much is it.